Good afternoon, I'm Taryn Krista, Martin County Administrator, and today is Thursday, May 14th. Thank you for joining us for the weekday update. As Florida residents, we probably all have the start and end of hurricane season marked on our calendars, just like any other important date. So that's where we are, in the middle of a pandemic and two weeks out from the start of hurricane season. I don't say that to cause any concern, but rather to reassure you that we are prepared. We're here to help you and your families, and we're ready. While our emergency management agency is actively engaged in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, we test, train, and exercise these events, and the structure of our system allows us to coordinate operations of multiple events if necessary. That being said, there's been a lot of chatter in the news over the last few days about the possibility of a system off of our eastern shore. At this time, the National Hurricane Center gives a 70% chance for subtropical development to the northeast of the Bahamas this weekend. We're expecting gusty winds and hazardous marine conditions to continue over the next few days, with higher rain chances Friday and Saturday. And while that's not great beach weather, there is the potential for dangerous surf this weekend. So I'd like to remind everyone of the importance of swimming or surfing at a guarded beach. With all of the talk of storms, our Community Information Center, which is still staffed and taking COVID-19 related calls, has seen an increase in calls about the special needs registration with regard to sheltering. The Martin County Special Needs Registry and Evacuation Transportation Assistance Program provides assistance to eligible residents during a disaster or when an evacuation has been ordered. This may be at a general or special needs shelter. Residents must pre-register and renew each year. It's easy to do by phone or online. And while we're talking about shelters, Martin County submitted a request to FEMA earlier this month to approve non-congregate sheltering as a result of the COVID-19 public health emergency. This will allow the county to provide appropriate shelter facilities or non-congregate sheltering for health and medical related needs, such as isolation and quarantine resulting from the public health emergency. As our agency is prepared, we want you to begin thinking about that and what it means for you. It's important to develop a disaster preparedness plan for your family. Know your home and know your zone. Get on the road to readiness. If you need to rebuild your disaster supply kit, the upcoming disaster preparedness sales tax holiday will be Friday, May 29th through Thursday, June 4th. During this period, qualifying items related to disaster preparedness are exempt from sales tax. And staying informed will help keep you and your family safe. You can be notified about emergencies by registering for Alert Martin, our mass notification system. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.